let me know. I said, let me know. We're on the air, right? Okay, I think we're on the air now. Cool. Tonight's episode is brought to you by brand new Coco Tropical Dino Crunch. Coco Tropical Dino Crunch. Now with more green ones. It's me. I'm Alex. Thanks. Aw, shucks. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Oh. We've got one of those things. Yikes. Hey, Eastern Bandit. I saw your monkey video that you posted in the Discord earlier. And I watched it. I was going to get back to commenting on it. And then I saw it had disappeared. And it made me sad. Oh. So it was not like... Oh, it, it was not like casual footage or anything. Well, I mean, it was still interesting, I guess. I mean, I guess it would have um, increased the uh, interestingness of it a little if it was real, but I see. I was almost afraid that perhaps you deleted it because I didn't comment on it right away, but I was I was doing some things and but I did watch it. It was amusing, regardless of its origins. I was I was still amused. So yay. Now I'm kind of interested in what movie that was from. Like, are there more movies with monkeys with guns? Who knows? Well... What's that? Oh. I saw the first two Planet of the Apes movies. Well, I mean, the, the new versions of them. The James Franco ones, I mean. Those were like, I was really into those. And then I tried watching the third one, and gosh, I can't get into the third one as much as the first two for some reason. I don't know. I really, I really honestly can't figure it out, because as far as I can tell, the third one is, uh, as critically acclaimed as the first two. Ah, uh, it could be the lack of Franco. You're very right, Clay. I didn't even consider that. So, but I don't know. I guess I'm not super into like high octane action, even if it involves monkeys. So maybe that's it. I think maybe the monkeys got a little too smart in the third one. I don't know, I feel like I watched at least half of it. Like, maybe I'll give it another chance even someday, but... Like, you know, before it came out I was like super hyped for it, like... Come on, put out that third monkey movie. <laughs> It was too fast and too fury apes. You were you were top notch with your with your pun game play. Not even not even kidding. Alright. Well that's cool y'all are here at my nine o'clock show on a Friday night. My 9 o'clock shows on every other night don't do so well, so 
think I'll keep my 9 o'clock Friday night show and just do my 11.30 show on the other nights. How am I? I'm, uh, I'm technically okay. I'm not super stoked that my producer put a, a fucking thing down there raising money. That's embarrassing. It's like a scarlet letter of begging, and that's not my style. But you gotta do what what the producer says, or you get your throat slit, or you know, proverbial throat slit. I don't think my producer would kill me. I don't think. Um, yeah, I guess it is through PayPal. It's, uh, it's on the, uh, on the Twitch page. There's a Seymour, a picture of Seymour that you click, and it brings you to the Streamlabs donation page. be amazed if we even, uh, you know, did anything, but I told her that $400 was, uh, kind of hopeful and like, you know, like, yeah, like in a yeah, right kind of way, but I don't make all the choices around here. She's like the Vince Gilligan of live animated Twitch talk shows. But she won't even put her name on it. That's like the bullshit right there. Like, what? Won't even put your name on it. But she's very private. I've never even seen her face, so... Here she's beautiful. All right. Well, I don't know what y'all have planned for tonight, but we did. We we made some more changes to the show aside from the, the little. Um, donation thing that I hope disappears soon and is not a permanent fixture of this show. Like we've got a what do we got here? Oh yeah, Leonard has a an account here now, so that's cool, and he can use one of his uh, extra unseen appendages to uh, to post in the chat room. I don't know why when he can just speak. But say hi in the chat room, Leonard. Oh, uh, there you go. I, I perhaps, um, should do that. I would have to come up with fun and wacky situations to put us in. You know, like how wacky and stuff that we are. But you know, I, I think that might be fun, but it might also be bad. I mean, at least with, like, the talk show, like, we can be bad, and then it kind of, like, disappears, you know? Oh, because, like, I mean, I can, you know, be funny for, like, five seconds, but, like, a web com comic is, like, forever. 
you know, like if I make a bad and terrible joke on this show, like, you know, it's inside of like an hour long show with like many more minutes and the bad jokes are forgotten. But if I make a, a bad joke in webcomic form, then, then it's like there forever. And that would, that would just be awful. Like, it would be like, you know, I'm just not confident in my, uh, six panel or even two panel comedy writing abilities. Like, I mean, I would love to tell you guys more about me and the day to day. I'm, that's a, that's a good, good idea. And maybe I could do that. Like, uh, perhaps when, when we have a little more time to devote to the show. I also want to put out young teen novels about the show. The Adventures of Alex and His Puppet Pals. And young adult, not young teen. I think young adult would probably be better. So that I can, like, you know, get a little risque with it. Not young teens, that would be awful. Yeah, I guess you're right. Huh. I do think it would, uh, be easy to turn this into a webcomic. We've already got our panels. We can do this panel. I can be like, oh Seymour, how could you mess up that situation that we were in the other day? And and Seymour would be like, whoa. And I'd be like, oh come on. Why don't you care about anything? Don't you, don't you care about things? Nope. And then, I would, and then I could like go here and like look at Leonard and be like, dang it, Leonard. My mother-in-law is coming to visit in a week and you still haven't cleaned up your room. Oh, I know. I'm just having some fun. You still haven't cleaned your room, Leonard. Why haven't you cleaned your room? Uh, am I supposed to, like, improvise some shit? Yeah, we're doing, like, a bit. Oh. Um, I haven't cleaned my room because I don't have a room. You keep me locked up in a... in a box. Like... How dare you imply that... I have a fucking bedroom. You... every night you put me in a goddamn box. And lock me in the closet. It's like... Hard to breathe in there. <laughs> I don't... I don't think I'm making a joke. We've, we've kind of been over this, you know, you've got issues and you have to sleep in the box. Oh, Sally, why are you so unlikable? Will you ever be likable? Nope. Yeah, you won't. Ooh, and then like... Miss Ruth. Oh, she looked at me. Oh, I'm glad Sally has one fan. That's pretty cool. Maybe in the the comic 
the webcomic, we can expand Sally's mythos. I'm sure as we continue to grow, Sally will have lots of fans of all types. Yeah, she very much is not that interactive, but maybe someday. I mean, I do hate it that the uh, the women on the show don't really, you know, have a prominent any sort of. Uh, their contributions aren't very significant, and that's not by design. It's just kind of a... It's just kind of how it is right now, I guess. But... Maybe someday. Hopefully soon. Hey, what's up, Fairhaven? FHD? How you doing? Oh. Okay. Holding on. Applebee's? Is that song an Applebee song or something? Huh? What is going on, Clay? I know Double P. I know. Oh, look at that. That was nice of you, Leonard, to type that. Maybe you could say those five what's after that. Oh, it was an Applebee's ad. Oh, Leonard types, he types those things with his uh, unseen appendages. All of the Puppet Pals have unseen appendages that I thought they could put to good use. No, not his penis. Gee whiz. His penis. No. There's like other appendages that are not like genitals. I mean, it's canon that he has other appendages that are able to, like, you know, he doesn't have multiple penises. I don't even know if he has one penis. I've never seen my puppet's genitalia, to be honest. Like, I feel like it would ruin the magic. Does that mean double penises? I just googled that and there's not a whole lot of result results. I feel like... Well, diphilic. It's like when I look it up it's like... I don't know, but no. I mean, I did, but it's all about molecules and stuff. So I feel like 
googling diphilic got me in the right place so that's cool it's about molecule chains and stuff so no worries at all. But I also thank you for them five bits. That's a good question. And um, I think that I think that was practice one can make the perfect pancake even on the first try. You get a job at Waffle House or IHOP, you can be fucking up the first pancake every time. That's a good way to get your ass fired. That's right. Understand, there are like lots of jobs out there, and the economy is booming. So, hey, what's up, smiling cat? Is it popping in here? I saw it in the news popping um I'm not on disability um I do technically uh, work but one of the um, sources of income in the it's me I'm Alex household ceased to be within the past month so uh things have been a little tight by a little i mean like dance smiling cat you always like pop in and then you're like gotta go oh because it's like kind of difficult around here like I don't drive. I live off the grid. Like all sorts of stuff. It's uh it's difficult to like get into. That's true. Thank you, Clay. Is this an interview for why you're why you should give me four hundred dollars right now? Am I passing? Cash only? Dog dab it. Well legally. That's right. I mean, parents can make their kids work. Kinda. And yeah, they can make their kids cut the grass and like do dishes and stuff. That's technically work. I bet in 50 years it'll actually be considered real work. I see kids' rights like like becoming a thing within 50 years. In 50 years people will be like, yeah, parents used to be like, cut the grass and wash the dishes or you're grounded, you know? 
That shit's going the way of the buffalo. Or, no. That's an MXPX album. But. It's the only MXPX album that I that I know of, but they have that they have a song like something like that. Hey, Fairhaven Dream, that's me. Hi, I'm Alex. What's up? Yep, this is like the Muppet Babies of Alex Jones. It's not, but maybe it could be. Maybe this is a prequel. Have you thought about that? Like they're turning the tadpoles gay. Whoa. I I don't think that I've heard of either of those things. Pico Pop. It's a music genre. Plus Tech Squeezebox is a Japanese electronic music band. And unfortunately, I can't say that I've heard of either of those things. To be honest, I don't listen to a whole lot of electronic music. judge anyone who who likes to listen to those things but I guess it's not really my uh, my bag or whatever maybe I'll, I'll check it out sometime Possibly. Like I said, I don't listen to a whole lot of, uh, of that, but that's not to say I haven't ever heard electronic music that I, I didn't like. Wait, did I say that right? That's not to say that I've... There's so many negatives in there. I've heard a few electronic songs that I liked. There we go. That should be easier to parse. Oh wait, I missed one. Five Iron Frenzy. I feel like I've heard of that band, but I don't think that I know them. Like, oh, it's another Christian um, punk rock band kind of thing. I see. I had, uh, had not heard of 
they were not in my uh my mind thing my mind bucket want me to, to dance or something or like what do y'all want to do and sing la, 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 la. I can just uh I can just talk Rambling, rambling on. Do you guys want to know what my favorite Led Zeppelin album is? Oh, good. All right. My favorite Led Zeppelin album is Houses of the Holy. For my money, that is the best Led Zeppelin album. I like it from start to finish, including the crunch. So... The song Dire Maker, as it's all often pronounced, is actually pronounced Did You Make Her? As in, did you like have sex with that lady? That's an interesting anecdote. Some of that album was recorded outside in their yard. The yard of, uh, Satanist Aleister Crowley. Neat. Yep. Hey Clay, are you, are you still out there? I just saw the thing and um wanted to uh to send my thanks. I guess you didn't do it through the Streamlabs thing, um because it didn't I didn't do an announcement. So I was, I was curious about that. Am I here? I think everyone died. Oh god, I'm, it's a rapture. I knew it.
Well, I think everyone who's watching this has died. Well, I hope they come back alive. Never accidentally hypnotize everyone to sleep. Oh lord. I'm sorry that I talked about Led Zeppelin. I didn't mean to. I just saw that I would. Sorry. I'm being getting I'm getting a whisper that that chat is broken broken so okay I thought it was me whispers are working cuz I'm I'm reading a whisper from bandit right now Bandit, can you hear me? I, mean, I can still be heard, right? See? Nay? the chat to be working. Let me see if I can... Leonard, why don't you see if chat will work for you? Type like something with your appendage. There's anyone out there if they want to try testing the uh, chatting? Oh, well, Bandit says that, that he's trying and it's not working. Mm. 
Clay says that he is trying and it is not working as well. Okay, let's check someone else's stream. Dang, technical difficulties. Yes, I'll check Reddit and see if uh, anyone's saying anything there. I don't see anyone. It works in other streams. Also works in my stream because you just typed that and it showed up in chat so it looks like that perhaps it is working in all streams now no yes maybe hello Yeah, I think it just I think it's fixed now. Whatever it was. There's clay. Okay. I mean sometimes people are watching the show and they're just like not saying anything and I was like, alright, well fine. Sorry about my Led Zeppelin talking. It won't happen again. Thought I killed the show. That's worked out. Well, uh, yeah, as I, as I was saying, uh, I got, I got your contribution, Clay, and I thank you for that. And I guess I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to be, if you wanted it to be private, I guess if you did, I ruined that. But I, uh, it didn't pop up on the screen, so I didn't know if you'd went another route other than the link on the, uh, the front page or whatever. Anyhow. Oh, I see. Yeah, on the front page there was the Seymour thing, but... Oh yeah, and even the front page thing goes through PayPal. The Streamlabs thing, but you did fine. It still got to me. So that's, uh... That it works either way. And I even... I, had, I didn't have to manually adjust my thing, but... I think it was worth it, so thank you for, uh, for that. Yay. Alright, well... Things are under control now. Good. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Clay. Yeah, I I can understand that, Eastern Bandit. I guess one thing about that is if uh, someone from Twitch donates, unless I do some hardcore investigating to the extreme it's hard, I, I can't associate a real name with a username but but if you donate through streamlabs you can type in any name you want and so like it doesn't put your real name on the screen you can type in your username you could type in like Mike Pence, if you wanted to donate in his honor, you know, whatever you want to want to type. So, yeah, it it gives every every last penny. 
I mean, PayPal gets a small cut for the, the transaction, but, you know, it's the same as if it was just like a regular donation. But yeah, Streamlabs doesn't take any of it. And, uh, It is. I mean, it's just kind of like a in-between thing. It just makes it easier, first of all, for like, because it's integrated into the stream. If people donate through the Streamlabs thing, it just goes right through PayPal instantly. And then um, also, it uh, if it allows you to put a little message in there to put on the screen, and it makes it so that I can. Uh, put a notification on the screen that the, the donation came. But it's up to people however they want to do it. If they want to do it, I don't want to beg too much. I do not accept sexual favors. Double P. But what Streamlabs uh, is, is like a, a set of tools, including the donation part, but all of the donations and, you know, all of the stuff on the screen is, um, like a lot of the overlays and stuff are through Streamlabs. Their tools are pretty useful. Bandit. How's Shinbet? I haven't seen Shinbet around in a minute. Is your brother doing okay? Speaking of sexual favors. I'm just kidding. Your brother does talk about sexy stuff though. Not that I'm saying he talks about it, and I think it's sexy. He talks about sex stuff a lot. That's what I meant to say. Ooh, an ellipses with only two dots. Does that stand for I'm not my brother's keeper? I'm sorry I asked. Are you the Cain or the Abel of the brotherhood that you guys share? I should interpret those as blank stares. That's cool. Sorry I asked about your brother. dots where those came from. Is chat broken again and it's only allowing people to post dots? 
thought we were cool. I thought this was like a, a safe place. Uh, you know, like a... What are those places where you can like... A safe room? No, that's where you go to like not get killed. What's the... What's the table? It's like a table, right? I don't... I don't remember. It's not a safe space. Unless that... That word was culturally appropriated by people who. Never mind. All right. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome to It's Me. I'm Alex on Friday. Hi, I'm Alex. Hello. Can you hear me, Clay? Are you okay? Oh god. What happened, Clay? Did we lose connection? Oh dear. Okay, cool. Oh, I think Chad is just being like... Is it still being weird? Oh, I think it was just, uh... You missed the dots, or, uh... Because I know Bandit was just posting dots for a couple of messages. I think that was an error. An error. Not an error. Well, it was an error. It was like the era in this episode where Eastern Bandit was responding to my questions with dots. I know it wasn't an error. You just, um. You were giving me the dot face. That's cool. What are y'all snacking on tonight? Anybody eating any good snacks? a thing organic chickpea with sea salt oh I don't know if we have those here in Georgia See. Bohemian barbecue. Wait, do they all have cute little names? Pepper Power. Oh, sorry, smiling cat. Why did you get denied? I definitely want to try them. They look like a lot less messy than like Cheetos, but are kind of like Cheetos. Kick pee. There you go again with your little puns. I definitely wouldn't try the Sriracha one. I bet they are 
Ah, uh, yes. That is like almost 100% the reason why you were denied. You had left it ambiguous before, Smiling Cat, as to whether or not you were underage. So, I perhaps could have, uh, Well, you probably had to submit, like, have I ever had ice cream cones for dinner? That's an interesting question, like, because, uh, I have had ice cream cones for a meal before, so, um, I can't remember if it was dinner or lunch. But I did have them for a meal once. And a bandit, you said you were eating lemon rind. And I feel like that that is not the truth. Because that would be gross. Yikes. everybody has to take a get their fuck you in into me you know everybody gets one fuck you wow bandit I don't think you've ever gotten this aggressive with me before this is like we're like turning over new leaves here Uh, 44 KE, I'm pretty sure you have said fuck you to me, like, pretty recently, didn't you? Didn't you very recently, like, make an explicit effort to say fuck you to me? I mean, I think I've said this before, like... Aw, oh, thanks, Clay. I appreciate the reverse aggressiveness. I did request that you not be mean to me, because I couldn't tell whether you were saying fuck you out of love, or if perhaps I had did something to upset you. I can be sensitive, but... I don't know. I also feel like I have a very unique position in which, like, damn it, cat! I'm in a very unique position where I can al allow people to say mean things to me and I can absorb it. But, but I don't want this to be the place where people come to be mean. That's what I'm that that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to do, Fairhaven Dream. Monday through Thursday at nine o'clock are not high volume times. Fridays at nine o'clock are actually okay. So I've learned some stuff this week. The background music is getting weird. It does kind of, uh, I mean, there's five hours of it, so that's a lot of, uh, 
time to get weird. Um, but yes, Fairy Haven Dream, that is, uh, that is the plan. My weekday shows during the day don't really seem to be getting a whole lot of people. My nighttime shows are, uh, are popping, as, uh, as you guys like to say. There are ladies here, but I mean, I don't think that it's like an equal balance of of ladies in it and gentlemen, but I do have some lady fans. And I think that perhaps even once I get my uh, my lady co-stars, Damn, Shanna Brand. Thank you. Seymour does like. Well, no, I don't need to answer for him. Seymour, do you uh, do you like being bad to the bone? Yes. He does. He very much indeed does. So Fairhaven Dream, you are saying that if uh, I get some more ladies liking the show that... What are you saying? Okay, step one. I get more girls watching the show. What are like more... Is, that, is it like ladies night? Like more dudes are going to come here? Because there's more ladies here? Or like, how does that work? This isn't a nightclub. Like, I don't know. Like, well, I mean, maybe this could be the premier place on the internet for, like, for, like, dudes to, like, meet ladies and for ladies to meet dudes, perhaps? Ladies night here on It's Me, I'm Alex. Because, I mean, you know, I mean, we could, but I don't, I don't know what I would do with such a themed night. Oh, Fairhaven Dream. Um, first of all, Mystery Tracer, uh, you had said, where was it? Not about the music. Oh, how scary would it be to buy drugs from Wicker? I see that that's a private messaging app. And, uh... The music is hurting your head? Most people enjoy the sweet sounds of Dwayne's sweet Rhodes, electric Rhodes piano playing. They say it relaxes them. Oh. I mean, of course, Mystery Tracer, you, uh, you aren't here very often, so, like, perhaps you're just not used to it yet. In Fairhaven Dream, I'm not, I'm not too sure I'm that great of a matchmaker. Oh, there's Shinbet. Hey, Shinbet. I was inquiring about you just a little bit ago. 
I didn't get any answers, but... I guess I got my answer now. Because there you are. Not a whole lot. Just, uh, just chilling. I am just chilling. Aww. I'm sorry that you are not loved. I think many people who can watch the show... Many people who watch the show can relate with that sentiment. Thanks for having the Fairhaven dream. Oh wow, double P. That's a shame. Because I'm a terrorist, right? I hate that they, uh, they keep getting you. Oh, I understand. Chapo Trap House? It's an American politics and humor podcast. Oh. Well, I can't compete with that. I just talk about snacks and like... Oh, I see. Shannon Brad, the, the Seymour Comedy Hour is coming very soon. It really is. He's you are working on that, right? Like Shannon Bren has uh, made very special monetarily correct request for that. So yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, I see. I'm not sure that uh, I'm into any of those things specifically, but you know, all the best to those who are, I suppose. Shimbet. Thanks a lot. That's pretty darn cool. That was the sound it makes when people donate a hundred or more bits at a time. That's what that was. And Shinbet donated one, two, three, four, five groups of, uh, of bits. That's five dollars. Thanks. They are very nice flags. You are still number two. Just you're you're about five hundred and five bits behind Lucky at 2,005 bits, but Lucky doesn't even watch the show anymore. He does, but I think he's busy with his forklift.
I don't think he's a poop. I think he's a pretty nice fella. I think he's just busy. You need help with that browser script? Um, okay. I'll try. What is your browser script doing? From the same site? Like automatically? Like if you're using Google Chrome, you can just uh, like, hold on. Like, I don't understand. calls a tape of seven different songs and funny recordings for answering machines. I am very sorry that I'm not approaching your calls. Only fourteen ninety five. When I will get first, right back to you. First of all, why, why am I not getting the audio? Of Gad for their answering machine. What you've actually done is bought a one-way ticket to the answering machine zone. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Crazy Calls, a tape of seven different songs and funny recordings for only $14.95. Oh, I see. Well, that's dumb. That gets on my nerves. Chrome is always changing stuff, and I don't like it. Which one are you asking about? Are you talking about crazy calls or busting? Crazy calls was a an answering machine thing that you could put on your old school answering machines to show off how wacky you were and it had um, parodies of uh, rap music and classical music telling people to leave you a message I played it the other day but I'll play it again because it's still one of my favorite things Oh yeah, I muted my tab. Sorry. I meant I muted the site. What a piece of crap. Why would I want to mute the whole site? Crazy Calls, a tape of seven different songs and funny recordings for answering machines. I am very sorry that I'm not at home to take your call. Leave Only fourteen ninety five. When I will get right back to you. Leave your, leave your message at the top. Give someone the gift of Gad for their answering machine. Calling a friend. What you've actually done is bought a one-way ticket to the answering machine zone. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Crazy Calls, a tape of seven different songs and funny recordings for only I found a copy of it somewhere online. The beat. The rap song one is definitely my favorite. Let me see, I think it's on here. 
I th yeah, I think I found it the other day. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home. But I'll be back before too long. You gotta seek your stuff and your number too. And this is all you've got to do. Wait for the beat. beat. You gotta leave your name. name. You gotta leave, leave your number. number. Wait for the beat. You gotta leave it at the beat. I think that's just because someone thought that it, it fit when they transferred their cassette tape. How much is five bits worth? I mean, when you donate bits to people who are streaming, one bit pretty much equals one penny. So five bits is a, a nickel. One nickel. I think perhaps because it was kitschy. And, uh, you know, Beck is known for his sort of kitschy uh, aesthetic and they thought it fit. I am I am a fan of of Beck. Maybe not so much his new stuff. But Yay, serious question. I love serious questions. Oh. I've had food poisoning a few times, more than once. So when food starts looking like it's not at its best, I get really picky. I'm not a picky eater. You know, I'll eat some garbage, like literal garbage if it's, you know, it's cleaned up nicely, but I mean, I've eaten bananas with brown spots before. Are you talking about like actual brown spots on the actual banana? Or are you talking about the bananas with like freckles on the, the banana shell? What is that called? What are the banana clothes called? Can peel, the banana peel. Like, like, if it's got little freckles on it, I, I don't care. But. It is popping. Are you just popping in to say BRB again? Are you going to leave again? Wait. Okay. You're not lame. It's okay, cat. It's just that things aren't the same when you're, you know, now that you're a busy cat now. What's up, Clay? Aw, uh, well, I don't think you're lame. I mean, full disclosure, people think I'm lame in many regards, so. I don't have a decoder ring. Ah, yes. Thanks for a Haven Dream. 
they are lame. You know, you try your best and people are like, you are lame. Damn it, y'all can't be speaking in code. Double P. That does seem like a sort of rent shaped number, doesn't it? It sure does. It's like the shape of, of a rent payment. If it gets kind of close tomorrow, I probably will just have to do some ASMR. I'll, just, I'll breathe in people's ears if I have to. It is. It is the end of the month. Perhaps. You know, optimism and persistence and doing your best doesn't always pay the pay the bills but you know Gotta wait for the beep. I guess it's the thought that counts. I'll be sure to print out this chat log and uh, give it to my landlord. I think that uh, I think it might work. You think it might work? Nope. Well, we won't know until we try it. get evicted? No. It's just... We'll talk about it later. No, we're not gonna get evicted. That's right. Yes, double P. Can I buy you a Papa John's? No. I uh, I can't even buy myself a Papa John's right now. I I I I have a frozen pizza in my freezer. If that would help you, but like if you were starving, I would share my frozen pizza with you. But I I kind of need to save. Save what I what I have right now. It's uh, and it's kind of a plan. I've been eating peanut butter and pretzels for my snack. I asked you guys what you were snacking on, and I didn't even tell you what I was snacking on this evening, and that's a. Uh, pretzels and peanut butter. Aw, shucks. Thanks for watching advertisements to, to make your contribution. And hey, you've donated 200 bits in your lifetime according to Leonard in, the, in his little, little chat thingy, so... A burger with garlic and cheese and mayo? Oh my god. 
Are you com you're not complaining. Please tell me you're not complaining, cause like... Like I've been pining for a burger for so long. Like all I want is a burger, like a delicious, juicy, medium well burger. With cheese, so much gooey cheese and lettuce and mushrooms. I don't have the infrastructure to build a burger right now. I don't have the infrastructure. I just want one. Good night, bitch, to you, Kai. Is it, oh, is it okay? Is the cat okay? I didn't ask about the cat, and I meant to. Is kitty cat okay? Is it too late for me to ask? That's good. Well, at least he's sleeping peacefully. Kitty cries are definitely hard to listen to, but I'm glad that y'all worked it out. Oh, smiling cat, you don't have to suck dick for my show. I appreciate the sentiments, but... I feel like the logistics of of you doing that would uh, be rather difficult because you would have to. I'm not going to go into the logistics of how that would work, but I don't think that logistically that would that would work out. Don't you live with like a grandma? Can't you tell your grandma? Aw, uh, see you later, bandit. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I mean, I guess thanks for hanging out. It's kind of like my way of saying thanks for watching. Uh, you're welcome. Um, uh, but she's a grandma. Aren't grandmas loaded? You also have a pleasant evening as well.
tell your grandma if she gives me four hundred dollars, she can be the ex uh, a producer on the show for a month and a half. I will put a credit at the end of the show that says produced by grandma and that will be her. Oh, she's not a bloody a blood grandma. <laughs> bloody grandma. Yeah, it's an offer she couldn't she could not refuse, right? I'm on the internet like bloody bastard grandma. I'm sorry that she felt compelled to uh, raise her hand at you. That's not nice. Do I need to call DFAX and file a complaint for abuse? Bloody does amplify the insult. Oh, I see. Well, I'll call metaphorical defects, and they can metaphorically put you in metaphorical foster care. Like theoretically, if you had a credit card with credit on it, or what are you saying? Oh, I see. Well, I don't want to take your last sixty dollars, and you'd be just as uh, broke as me. I feel like if I'm gonna be having some sort of fundraiser for myself, I have to like, I should be offering some sort of benefit. Like, but I don't know what people do. Like, like I don't play any games very fast. I'm not very sexy. not very I don't know what I'm thinking like I can't just get by in the novelty of my existence alone you know like I need to sing songs or like tell jokes or or something Yeah, you send me five hundred dollars, and I'll I'll send you a a pick of the producer.
needs money first. At this point, yeah, fuck it. Five hundred dollars face face reveal. Private face reveal. Shit. Uh she is an entity. I feel like uh I mean somebody's gotta be the liaison between my dimension and your dimension. That's all I'm saying. Shit doesn't just happen by magic. Aww. That's so sweet, presidential puppetry. You really have a way with words. That's cool. Sometimes you're quiet and it's nice of you to to type something in the chat room to give me something to to speak some words about. Six hundred dollars, I'll turn you into a puppet and make you a permanent character on the show. And you and Leonard can do whatever you want. Yep. No joke. These are desperate times and I'm willing to alter the entire course of the existence of my show. So I feel like right there between Leonard and Sally we can have a little little cat puppet and it'll come up and But you're like underage and I'm sitting here trying to convince you to to go rob somebody of six hundred dollars. I feel like that's perhaps unethical and if there's anything that we're known for around here on It's Me, I'm Alex is our um, high standard of ethics. Like we won an award last year for like the most ethical, wait what was it, the most ethical live animated talk show on Twitch that started in June of 2016 so you know I just wanna you know people like expect us to ha be like highly ethical and so I, I gotta keep that up you know Oh, smiling cat, don't don't go whoring yourself out. Just to just to be on my show. I don't think I could live with myself if I'm even alive. Ho ho ho! Oh, I know you love Leonard, but he's such a heartbreaker. He broke my heart, platonically, but
Oh, oh, Leonard. You can't encourage illegal activities to happen. You look so happy. Lenny is, uh... I should clarify when we get that ethics award, it was for me. Not for all his puppet pals or anything. So... Yo, smiling cat. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. What's up? Yeah. You can, um... You can rest assured that there is no... No way in heck that, uh... Leonard will, uh have any sort of opportunities to do such a thing. Yep. Definitely known for my. Uh, I won an award last year for my ability to construct sentences. Um, locally, it was the uh, the Black Tree Falls uh, Listener's Choice Award for. Excellence. Sorry. Excellence. The Black Tree Falls Listener's Choice Award for Excellence in the Construction of Sentences. I don't know why that was that was so hard for me to get out, but Oh no, they're just like paper ass certificates. No. Am I cracking up today? I crack myself up, I guess. I've never won any awards for the ability to to laugh at my own little sentences that I have constructed. Maybe next year. Alex should just work on stream? I mean... Alex does kind of work on stream. Alex being myself, I don't know why we're talking about me in the third person. But I do 
work on the stream. As then I do other stuff that I do Amazon turking while I'm streaming. I'm pretty good at multitasking, to be honest. It is. Yep. What's up, Stude Superior Seven? You got questions? Oh, you just missed a bunch of uh, a bunch of talking. Amazon jerking. Yikes. Shannon Brand has art. Shannon Brand's already donated, and in fact was a uh, part of the initial donation that uh, I got this started. So we're we're not gonna bug Shannon Brand, but uh, what did you miss? We talked about. I think I talked about Led Zeppelin for a minute. Like MXPX. We talked about snacks. Talked about some awards that I had around I had won. Kai, Eastern Bandit. I've already left the show. Kai was uh, part of the donation too, so Kai already contributed. I appreciate you um you know doing my begging for me but it's not it's not necessary I don't think I mean there's a big thing there on the screen and I don't I didn't feel good about that in the first place so maybe I'll jokingly allude to it from time to time but but yes Oh, smiling cat, you're referring to yourself and calling yourself a cunt. You did donate two bits. That was very nice. Oh yeah, and Clay did. I'm sorry, Clay. I I didn't. I was speed reading through that list, and I did not see Clay's name in that list of smiling cats uh, stuff. So yeah, so smiling cat. I appreciate your efforts, but. Damn, double P. Double P, don't take no shit. Four courses. What are you taking? How to be a dick on the internet? Ha. Huh. I'm just, I'm just, uh, just uh, joking with you. Oh wow, that's pretty significant. doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun.
well, I guess I'm honored to, uh, to be the object of someone's procrastination. Like, wow. I never thought people would procrastinate in their studies just for me. That's pretty, pretty flattering. My puppet pals do have dark ways. I have dark ways too. So. I've been known to be dark sided. All but two? Are you saying like on the show? Oh, yeah, someone's gonna die on the show, I'm sure. I think as, if I've, as I've said before, if like But I mean, if I die, the whole show dies. But I'm trying my best. Like, I used to be more nihilistic, but I do try a little bit harder to, like, stay alive these days. If their manipulation masters die, they certainly would probably not last very long, I don't think. It's about break time for me because I need to take the dogs outside to, to use the bathroom and I might have to take a little tinkle myself. So I'm going to take a break and um, I think I'll be back at 1130 but it might be a little bit longer than that. But I will be back between 11.30 and, and 12, my time. So that's like 30 minutes to an hour. I just got to make sure that, that everything is cool. I'm sorry, Double P, but I've got two dogs here who have to double P themselves, so... <laughs> Can we do away with the laugh track? Please. I don't like it. Alright. Well. It's break time. Thanks everyone for watching though. And thanks for the, the donations and the friendship and all the fun times. 
and I'll be back here before you can read like a whole three or four chapters of a book, so... Well, oh yeah. I'm gonna save some of that for like talking over the end song. I always like say my goodbyes. I don't save any goodbye talking for the end song. And it kind of ruins it. And, you know, I'll do better. Alright, y'all. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to. Goodbye.